Hi, hello there, and welcome to this week's vlog. Right, so the library's book sale went over great. We got rid of so many books, but here's a selection of uh, the books in which I got, which were all for five dollars. Yay, go me! So I kind of kind of got the adult nonfiction there and the YA. Uh, children's books like youth books right there and now I am going to get rid of some of them because you know I read them really fast and you have to pick them up right or otherwise they're gone so I don't know if I'm actually going to read any of them or all of them but I have them I know that I picked up the Brad Thor one because you know I wanted to try him out as an author now it becomes the hard task of having to to sticker them <laughs> right I do have Gooby gone which is great it's just going to take forever or not really forever but yeah and so I actually need to go through them and see which ones are kind of like if this is like a, if it's in a series I'm going to get rid of them. I know at the bottom one's like the Swan Raiders. That's like the second in the series. I'm not going to get the first one. So I know I'm getting rid of that one right away. And Good Wish Gone Bad. I think I might get rid of that one rather quickly as well. But you know because like the YA ones are always quick reads. So those are really great. But yeah. Here it is. So should we should we go through them and I introduce each of the books to you? I think so, probably. Alright, so here we go. Alright. So I got Holly Farb in the Princess of the Galaxy, and it was a silver birch uh where like in that category or that for reading a thon that you get for kids and it is by Gareth Oronsky. Yeah, so like all these books were like just um, withdrawn. Actually, this one isn't. The Not So Boring Letters of a Private No One by Matthew Landis, right? Addie Bell's Short Shortcut to Growing Up by Jessica Brody, right? Good Wish Gone Bad by Sheena um, Muldoon Zappa and Amit Zappa. Right, this is a part of the Starling Darling series, I guess you can find on Disney. The Swan Riders by Aaron Bow, right, which I am going to with or on the haul right away. This is the first book I picked up, the Magnif the Magnificent Esme Wells by Adrien. And we got The After Party. Ooh, I grabbed two. Right? The After Party by Anton Disclefani. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of these names. I actually thought this cover was very much like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid. Right? This is the last book I picked up spontaneously. It is called The Child of Vengeance by David Kirk. thought that would be super cool. Then we got... The Prisoner in the Castle by Susan L.A. McNeil. Right, Dean Crawford Apocalypse. So it's Apocalypse by Dean Crawford, right? Where the end begins. Ooh, thought that'd be really cool. All right, Near Dark by Brad Thor. I thought this would be really cool just to experience him as an author. And the last one is Enchanted August by Brenda Bowen. Yeah. So now comes the uh, tricky part of having to uh, just sticker them. Now for the Swan Rider, even though I know that I'm going to unhaul it, I'm still going to just sticker it because that just, you know, makes me feel better and, you know, and then I'm going to be doing this anyways, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But I'm keeping eleven of them. That's actually not so bad. Yay for library book hauls or just book hauls in general. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever read any of them? What do you guys think of any of them? These are just kind of like passive books. They're all hardcover. 
Uh, they had several copies of this Brad Thor book, Near Dark, and one was in paperback, but I didn't actually, the texture of it didn't like, and I figured that I'd have to do a lot more cleaning with that one. But yeah, cool beans, right? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully everybody has had a great Sunday, a great weekend, and, you know, support your local library, and yeah. Yes. All right. Bye. All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so today's reading dip is that reading can help reduce mental decline in old age by 32%. In a study of 294 people, researchers discovered the importance of reading in senior years. People who engage in mental stimulation activities later in life experience less cognitive decline. However, researchers have discovered even more impressive early life reading facts. Keeping the mind active in childhood, adolescence, and middle age also contribute to a slower mental health decline rate. Ooh, that's good news, right? So, that being said, that I didn't get any reading done yesterday because, um, well, when I was at the library book sale, I did that in the morning. So in the morning, I did some editing. In the afternoon, I was at the book sale, and then I came home, and I was just playing with my books, which I'll show you in a second. But the most impressive thing, oh no, uh, sorry about that, guys, and which, like, I wanted to show you, was that I actually did some uh, knitting yesterday, and look, both gloves are now done. Yes. And with this one, it fits a lot better. I figured out how to do like the thumb piece a lot better and how to do thumbs better for next time, which is great. All right, so I'm gonna put them on for you guys because this is how you do, right? And then, because I was just exhausted, pretty much ended up going to bed soon after this. Yeah, oh my gosh. So, ta -da! Right? I think that they turned out fantastic. Okay, yeah, so I'm really happy with it, right? A small part of me wants to redo this glove so that way it matches this glove, but I know that if I do that, I'm gonna do the thumb differently. So no matter what I do, they're gonna look different and it's gonna be okay. The more I wear them, the more that uh, they're going to stretch out and the more they're going to look better. I'm sure of it. Or at least I hope. Right? But, yeah. Now I just need to make, like, the flap that will go over the fingers on them. Which I don't think will be uh, too hard to do or whatever. But, yeah. That is just where I'm at with those. I'm just super excited that I finally got those done. Oh my gosh. Right? But, that being said... So, yesterday, uh, because all the books I got were like library withdrawals, oops, sorry about that, I, uh, yeah, as you can see, I have a, there I got a couple stacks here, and that the stickers, uh, the shelving stickers are still on them, right, but I wasn't able to get those off, usually, just like the top two and the bottom two, I'm um, usually to get those off, but those are, I use a tool that the bookstore has to get those stickers off, and I don't have one at home, and I don't want to buy one, so, because I, like, I'm not even 100% sure if, if I'm going to read any of them, and if I do, I know that I'm not going to keep them, because they are library withdrawal books, so... I just don't know what I want to do, but that uh, the stickers do bother me somewhat. So I might just slowly bring them into the bookstore and get the and remove the stickers. I won't be able to do it next week because we are doing. Hopefully, we're doing doing inventory on the store, so I won't be able to do it. But it does. Uh, there is something that I can do. Plus, I like took like a huge chunk out of my thumb trying to take like the sticker off from the after party. And after that, I was just like, nope, it's not worth the pain. It's not worth the aggravation. And I got better things to do, like my mitten. 
So that's what I ended up doing. So I ended up going back, relaxing, and doing that. So, you know, teach your own. That is, uh, you, sometimes you have to pick and choose what you actually do, right? But look at all the books that I have to read. And I have a bookshelf, so yay, go me. All right. But that is it for me and this update. I will hopefully have, well, I do plan to read some of my book, uh, The Sterling House. And yeah, and hopefully get back. I just, I love like the analogies and different things in the book that's uh, being said. It is very well written. All right. Well, see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right. Bye. All right, hello, welcome, good morning, everybody. Hopefully everyone's doing great. So I didn't actually read anything to last night or yesterday. It was just so busy. I had to work through my lunch and then I just, like, I had to relax, come home and put my feet up and I didn't knit or crochet either. It was just one thing led to another. I did not make the time to read. But you know what? Can't hear it on myself. It's all right. It's all right. You really really do need to sometimes just take a break right but like here's the thing it's like today's reading dip right? is that reading can reduce stress up by up to 68 percent uh, statistics about reading benefits often mention stress relief but there are some limitations for instance the stress relief efforts of reading uh, are counterbalanced if you read something that makes you feel angry or helpless such as a negative news According to studies, a reading offers even better stress reduction than some of other popular methods, such as listening to music or exercise. Likewise, health and wellness statistics show that 30% of reading can also lower the heart rate, blood pressure, and feelings of psychological distress. Well, isn't that something informal? Or very informal, or not informal, inform informative? Informative. Anyways. I think that's wonderful and I think that's great and but yeah so it's like maybe you know watching that last YouTube video wasn't uh, worth it instead of what spending 15 minutes watching that I just spent 15 minutes reading <sighs> you know it, it probably would have helped me sleep a little bit better too because reading out does also helps with that oh my goodness life like, everything's coming full circle and just like how it doesn't matter if it's just like one chapter and it took you like five minutes to do so or you're just reading for 15 minutes. I just need to get back into the habit of reading every single day. Every day. Right? Because it just it helps us so much. Oh my gosh. Plus, I could read more books and that's all I want. Because, you know, I now have a giant wall of books in the corner or on the, this table here. and. Oh, with getting like 10 or 11 books from the, the book sale, I got nothing, uh, you know, no qualms. And I think I have decided that uh, I'm slowly going to be bringing each of the books that I have to the bookstore to take off the spine stickers. I mean, I may just bring it all at one time, just to do it all at one time in like a couple weeks, but we'll see. We'll definitely see because this is something that uh, is very time consuming and we need to do. But anyways, right? Just because, you know, like, I want that it all to look the same. But anyways, that's uh, neither here nor there and it's just something that, uh, you know, exists, right? But anyways, I need to move on. I need to get to work and hopefully I'll have time that I won't have to work through my lunch today and I'll have time to read, you know? Everything's always like a thumbs up. You gotta keep on going. Alright, hope you guys have a great and wonderful day, right? We'll check in with you, maybe on later on today, or probably tomorrow morning. Alright, until then, bye! Alright, so good morning everyone. So today's reading tip is that a rating set showed that 50% of people who read before bed report sleeping better than non-readers. Before you start self-diagnosing the cause of your lack of sleep, try a good book before bed. A bedtime reading ritual is an excellent way to wind down to prepare for sleep, with over 96% of bedtime readers recommending the habit to others. So that's just, you know. If other, if a bunch of other people have suggested, then it has to be good, right? Yeah, so, you know, I had the opportunity to read before bed last night, and I decided, you know, my phone's too addictive and I must play video games. So that was kind of like my bad. I should have sat down and read. But I was also 
Uh, I had an existential crisis last night where I was just so busy that, uh, you know, I just had to like sit down, relax, and you know, not exactly read at all, right? Which is bad. Something that I should avoid doing. So I think again, and yesterday was also so busy at work, I wasn't able to uh, um, have like a proper lunch where I was able to read. So that was kind of a bummer as well. But you know, what are you going to do? You're just going to go with the flow. You're just going to make sure that, you know, you do what you can. Right? But that's okay. Right? Today is a new day. Right? And I'm going to make sure that I make the time to read when I get home after work today. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to, right? And hopefully today will be less busy at my work, uh, both my work, so that way I can actually, you know, read while I'm there which would make everything so much easier and better for me. And it's something that, like, I would enjoy rather thoroughly. All right? Anyways, you should always make time to read, always make it a priority, and always make sure that you are putting yourself first and, you know, listening to your body and what it has to say. All right? Cool beans. Hopefully everybody's doing all right. All right? Thumbs up to everybody. And uh, have yourself a great day. All right. Bye. All right. Hello and good morning, everybody. Right? Oh my gosh. So, with the reading dip it of today, right, is that the most expensive book in the world is a Codex Lasseter, right? Isn't that just interesting? Hmm. Alright. So, other than that, Right? I was able to read two chapters of Sterling House last night. Yay, I made myself read. Or it was good, right? Those two chapters were really good. And I'm now like just over 100 pages, which means I have 200 pages left of the book. Woohoo! Go me, you know, small feats. I could have read more last night. Yes. Did I? No. I was just kind of done with the day and just needed to put my feet up and, and I went to bed and I had a lot of like just really really weird dreams but I was just so exhausted I like slept and I and again I had like one of those other dreams where it was like you know like oh I'm late or like that I was supposed to I like an appointment and so I was supposed to come in late like right at the appointment but then I just never did never told my work about it and I just kind of like stopped coming in which would never actually really happen with me. Like I, like, I would have to tell somebody, but, like, you know, like, I like my job and I like working, so, yeah. Anyways, so, like, I was just kind of, right, and then, like, you know, soon after I was, like, like, I was, like, what's going on? My alarm went off. So, you know, it was just kind of funny, right? <laughs> um, but anyways, that was kind of it, right? It was just, like, how kind of, like, hilarious, uh, different things can be right but yeah so that is that it was kind of like a funny 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 kind of dream that I had right but I read and it's all about like you know to the small steps and making sure that you do read every day right and uh, I wish I could spend all day reading today because it's just such a rainy kind of day and another rainy day and it would just be nice to be able to sit inside and to be like cozy you know like maybe light a candle and uh, be under a blanket a big oversized sweatshirt and to read but you know I work right but anyways that's just kind of like how it is oops and you know we're gonna we're gonna pull through it together hopefully we don't get caught in the rain and everything's thumbs up all right so everybody have a great day all right we'll catch y'all later all right bye Alright, so today's reading dip is that Teeny Ted from Turnip Town is the smallest book in the world. So that's cool. Alright, so as you can see that I've changed around like my uh, tibia or extra books which I've just kind of put here. And the inspiration behind this is that, uh, well, my goal is to get rid of these books by the end of the year. And that is because of the fact of the matter that uh, I think it's my fantasy self that I'm going to end up reading all of them. Now, uh, The Hands May Tale, All My Peony Sorrows, and Flowers in the Attic, I think, um, and maybe The Little Bookshop 
I think are going to only be like the three or four books that I'm going to keep, where all the other ones I'm going to give away as Christmas presents, donate back to the library's bookstore, or to mini libraries, or to like friends, family, neighbors, whatever have you, because I'm just, I'm never going to read any of them, right? And I mean, I got all these like other shelves of books that I want to be reading, and you know, and I want to be reading books from a... Um, you know, like the Percy Jackson series and have other books on my shelves I want to be reading, especially like the uh, book shelf that's like over there. But yeah, so, but, but, and uh, the reason why I say I think it's my fantasy stuff is that I can't even read every single day where I'm not reading every single day and like all these things move so quickly. And that like last night at the library, I almost bought like, a, like three books, or not bought, borrowed three books, and I think it's like. It's a series, a popular, somewhat popular series still, and I almost like borrowed those, right? But I was like, no, you still have to finish Starling House, and then you gotta read Percy Jackson, and maybe one of uh, these books here, so I was like, I had to hold back, because I can't, right? But in last night, instead of reading, I decided to uh, paint my fingernails all Halloween, Woo! and they're even uh, glow in the dark right? and the best part is about like this nail polish is that I put like a crackle on it you really can't see with like on the black nails but on the orange ones you can just like how different it is check out this hand too and I even, even put like a glow in the dark on it so you can't really see like the crack or the glow in the dark through like the crackle at all right but it's still really cool right? And I'm happy that I took the time to do it. And I did mess up like two nails on this hand just because of the fact that, you know, I had to play with my books, right? I had to like complete this project, right? So yeah, like this is my kind of goal is to get rid of these. That's kind of like my big news, things I'm going through. Yeah, just because I uh, want to get rid of them. Don't think I'm going to read any of them, right? Or at least get rid of 99% of them, right? Because I can still borrow them from the library. I can, uh, you know, and I think that, uh, I think it would be a good time for me to get to my big Christmas present to myself as a good read reader. Because I think that's the only way I'm going to read anything. <laughs> Alright? Well, that's just kind of like the update. I'm not reading, but I did play with books and paint my nails, so go me. <laughs> Alright, well, you know. That is that. I hopefully everybody has a great and wonderful day. I hope we may check in with you later. All right, but uh, yeah, for right now, thumbs up. Hopefully everybody has a great and wonderful day, and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right, bye. All right, welcome back. Today's reading debate is that it is possible to make up to fifty books from one tree. Isn't that cool? Yes, I think so. Alright, so to, uh, I have read a little bit of Starling House yesterday, woohoo, and it's starting to get good. I'm like halfway through the book now, which is fantastic, what more can you ask for? So I will probably finish it tomorrow, if not tonight, tomorrow, because, you know, I have, for once, and for like what seems like forever, have nothing planned for the rest of, uh, well, this evening. I got stuff during the day, so it's just kind of like a huge relief. I do not know what I'm going to read afterwards. Maybe The Fan of the Opera. Maybe Esme Wells, or The Magnif Magnificent Esme Wells. Maybe Addie's Bell's Shortcut. Uh, what's another one? What's the... Yeah, yeah, then the bottom one. And then she was gone, my least jewel. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a head start on hands right tell. I don't know. Oh, no, no. That is for a future debit to figure out, right? But anyways, that uh, is just kind of like my update. I liked it. Yes, like, uh, the reason why I didn't get to read so much last night is because last night I went and saw a drag queen show, which was like, you know, which is perfect, which was nice. Uh, there was only so many people there. It was a closed event, but, like, uh, it went off, like, really well. I've seen some drag show shows before, and they're always, like, really fun and interesting, and I don't know, right? And they're coming, I guess, like, maybe because I'm more aware of them now, I find that they're, like, popping up all over the place, which is kind of super cool, right? But, yeah. Uh, what else do I want to say? That was, I guess that's kind of it. <sighs> 
Right, that is just a very small update. Um, today at the when I the, the store that I volunteer at, we are going to be, uh, you know, hopefully doing an inventory. Not exactly sure. We're going to see when we get there. You know, see how it goes. But I am going to work my Saturday shift at the library first. And we're going to go from there. And I'll just take it one step at a time, one event at this time, one stop at a time. I don't know. One last stop by uh, Casey McQuiston. McQuiston. I didn't like that one as much as uh, the first, like, uh, what is it, Red, Bright, and Royal Blue, but I still liked it. I haven't read her first one, or not her first one, her newest one yet, but I should. I don't know. But anyways, that's just a uh, little tangent. Ooh, maybe because I'm going to finish this, I can get uh, Starling House, I can get uh, another book, even the Kathy Reeks book. Because it is still there, because how I know this is that it was still there on Thursday when I worked. Yesterday the library was closed, or the system wide shut down, right, for some like employee thing, which I wasn't invited to, which is fine. And a and then it's open today. So it's Saturday. Hmm. Things to think about. Get four books out of the library. And there's also like that like that bakery house mysteries. <sighs> I can only get so much. And I need to keep in mind that I have all this TBR that I need to be reading. Interesting. What should I do? What should I do? Huh. But anyways, right? This is something that I, you know, you need to take into consideration. All right. I'm, I'm digressing. I guess diverging is another way you could say it. I need to get moving on. All right. Hopefully everybody has a great day. Everything's bright. Thumbs up to everything. And uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. All right. Bye. All right. So today's reading dip it is that uh, one in five adults worldwide does not know how to read or write, which I think is quite interesting. Right. It's interesting to know these uh, kind of reading facts. So yesterday turned out to be quite the eventful day. And, you know, when I came home, I was like, you just, you need to take, like, a moment to sit down and rest, like, not really do anything. And then I was like, no, I gotta do something. So I picked up my ball of yarn, right, and I was like, hmm, now look at this. These look like a regular run-of-the-mill kind of gloves, right? <gasps> but then, boom, boom, bam, bam, uh, very classy. Look, fingers, yay! Hey, right? it's exciting. So, they look kind of weird, but like, right? But, I now have covers for these mittens. Yay! Yo me! I'm so awesome! I was able to make these. I'm really happy. I made the covers really tight, but they're long enough and they cover. Oh my gosh. Yes! I just feel so happy that I was able to finish these. Uh, they didn't turn out, like, I mean, turned out better and for worse for what I thought they were going to look like. But you know, at the end of the day, thumbs up. Learn lots from these. Uh, I've made something and now I can start wearing them. And I am, you know, <clears throat> it is just in time because it is fall now and the weather is getting chillier. So yay, go me. <sighs> I know. I think I'm just going to be wearing these for a little while longer. Yay! Okay, so yesterday, um, when I was volunteering at the bookstore, we were inventorying the store, and I ended up finding some, uh, I think they're, I forget the author's name, but I found two of her books there, and for a reason, or for some reason, I thought, I was like, man, I have these Lisa Jewel books at home, like, <clears throat> there's like these covers uh, look very similar. I was like, like I was like, oh my gosh, right? Uh, but they were of a different author, and and so I was like, hmm, I was like, I might pick these up, right? But so like the minimalist in me, because I just picked up a bunch of books from like the library bookstore like last week, and now I'm. Uh, pretty much taking them all back because oh Megan Miranda I thought her last name was Miranda yeah that a few of I think um a few of her books are at the bookstore like the perfect strangers and the last vanish 
I'm not sure, right? But there was at least two of her books. So I figured, no, it's the last house guest as well. You know what? I don't know. All I know is that there was two of them, and that uh, next week, if these books are still there, I might get them. But a part of me is like, no, don't. Save your money. Like, you have too many books in your TBR. Like, you may not even read them or just keep them for the sake of keeping them. But they're not even, like, library withdrawal books. They're, like, look, like, brand new. So, I mean, if I got into, like, book reselling, I could actually end up, like, reselling them because they look pretty decent. And, like, one of the covers is, like, very, like, textured, right? You know, I love a good textured cover, right? That was something, right? But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that. But, like, maybe that's, like, why I just another push for me to get, like, an e-reader. So that way I can start reading these kind of books, like, more regularly and to, like, I don't know. I just feel like I need to get rid of these books that look a lot, you know, maybe just do a giant purge of books just so that way I can uh, start getting books at the library, right? So I did not pick up any books when I was working yesterday at the library, but that's okay. Um, but I did end up, I don't know, Just I just saw some books at the bookstore and yeah, and honestly, all I did when I came home was uh, knit covers for these mittens, which is, you know, success for me. So with the rest of the ball of yarn that I have for these mittens uh, left over is I'm going to knit myself a scarf so then I will have mittens, um, I will have, you know, fingerless mittens and I'll have mittens and um, a hat and a scarf, just in time for the colder weather. Woohoo! Go me. That's all I gotta say. I'm just, I'm just kind of happy that like you know, being pro by going by myself or just doing this, sticking to it, even though this glove took like three attempts to actually do. But it's here. It's done. I got both. Woo! Go me. All right. You know, small feats. Gotta make sure that like you know, celebrate. Thumbs up. Alright, so that's where I'm going to end the vlog today. I will do some more knitting. I will do some more knitting, some reading probably, and that's about it. And try not to think of uh, what I'm missing out on by uh, not having those uh, uh, Megan Miranda books in my life. Right? Alright, well, we'll catch you up later. Hopefully everybody has a really great, good week. And yeah. Alright, bye!